Hi, I'm Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to find the molar mass of zinc sulfide. It's so simple, really, with this table. You're going to love it. Take a look. Bam. So the first step of the process is to write down the elements we see. So zinc and sulfur. Next is then to identify the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If there is no subscript, just put in a one. So there's one zinc, one sulfur. Then we're simply going to take those number of atoms and multiply by the mass of each element. Periodic table. Zinc's mass is going to be 65.38. Sulfur is going to be 32.07. Let's write them in. Okay, so this is 65, what the heck, 65.38, good. And then sulfur is going to be 32, 32.07. Then we're going to find the total mass of the element in the compound by simply multiplying this on a cross. So this is actually pretty simple, right, in this problem because they're both ones. But you can use the same process in a problem that doesn't have subscript of one, and you're not going to be lost. You follow this exact process. The total mass then of the entire thing is just simply going to be the summation of those individual total masses of the elements. So this is simply going to be 97.45. And the units there are grams per mole because we're finding molar mass. Now you know how to find the molar mass of zinc sulfide. Thanks so much for tuning in.